Hey guys, it's your girl Kara's Crystal Visions. Welcome, newbies in betweens and OGs. Thank you, thank you so much for always supporting your girl, becoming and staying a part of the family, getting that clarity and that confirmation when it resonates that you need. I love you guys to life. Thank you, thank you. You could be anywhere in the world today, baby, but you here with me, all right? If you wanna check out my social medias, the link is in the description box below, all right? And if you would love to be so generous, I do accept donations. That is also in the description box below. All right, baby. All right, my love bugs. Let's see how your person is feeling. The person that you have on your mind or whoever has you on their mind. All right, let's go. Okay. So we have... The five to the six of coins. We have the knight of coins to the queen of coins. We have, wow, the seven of swords to the eight of swords. Mm. Let's clarify before we get into the message. All right. All right, wasting no time today, I see, spirit. All right, let's see. We have the star to the moon, clarifying the five to the six of coins. We have the three of cups to the four of cups, clarifying the knight of coins to the queen of coins. And then we have the nine of coins to the 10 of coins, clarifying the seven to the eight of swords. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we have the world card. So something has come to a complete end. A cycle, a relationship, a marriage, a friendship, okay, a job situation. But I feel like your person is feeling left out in the cold. They feel, I hear, worthless. They have low self-esteem. They feel inadequate. And they feel this way when it comes to their mental state of mind, when it comes to their physicality, they may be overweight, they may eat unhealthy, they may not exercise, they may not keep up with a healthy routine that keeps them, you know, feeling good as far as eating right, exercising, taking care of your skin, taking care of your whole body, which is your temple, all right? This person sees you as the full package. You look good physically, Mentally, you are attractive, okay? Spiritually, you are alluring. And financially, you are stable. So this person feels like, why would you even want them anymore, okay? You could have left this person out in the cold. They could have stole so much money from you or taken so much money from you. They could have been using your money and then holding their money on the side, being very selfish, Okay, wanting you to deplete all that you have worked for when it comes to your finances, your stability. This person feels like you're a star. You are the one that gave them hope in the dark. For some of them, they still have hope that they can reconnect with you. But I feel like you left this person out in the cold because they were breadcrumbing you. They were not getting their shit together. They were not trying to elevate in their finances, in their mental, in their health sector. And you got tired of carrying this person. You got tired of motivating this person, inspiring this person. And this person would sit up on your couch. This person would complain and have the same mundane, unreliable, unadvanceable job. This person wouldn't even support what you did this person would sarcastically demean you because they never felt good about themselves when they were with you. You're a fucking star. You're meant to do magnificent things in this lifetime, to lead the collective, to love, to inspiration, to possibilities. And when you try to do it with this person, this person just felt like you were better than them. 
They even competed with you unknowingly. Hella jealous, hella envious of you. I'm hearing this could definitely be friends, lovers, spouses, long-term partnerships that you are no longer in communication with. And these people are seeing you shine, but they're hiding the fact that they're watching you. All right? Now, another message is coming through is that you needed to leave this person out in the cold so that you can get on the path to stardom. Some of you guys have public platforms. Some of you guys will start public platforms. Whatever you do for work, it is going to go big. I hear viral. And you had to cut this person out because they were an energetic block. They were blocking your path forward. That's why the moon is here. But now that you have this person out of your life, you are slowly developing your business, your finances, and rearranging your life to the way you've always wanted it. Calling in suitors that are going to be loyal, that are going to stick around for the long haul, that is going to marry you because you are marriage material, baby. I feel like this person was slowing down your progress to get to the Queen of Pentacles, to remain in the Queen of Pentacles. Because some of you guys would gain big wins and lose it in the same breath. And it's because you had these individuals around you that it never wanted good for you, never wanted the endless, limitless possibilities for you. And they were slowing you down. And oh baby, a lot of them knew what they were doing, the Seven of Swords. Absolutely. It's no way I'm going to allow the collective to shine bright because they're not going to want to fuck with me no more. They're not going to want to talk to me. They're not going to want to have sex with me. They're not going to want to basically be entrapped in the box that I want them to stay in. So they can just be for me. This person was very obsessive and possessive. And you freed yourself. And this person is all in their head. They're all in their head. Your ancestors is also bringing them night terrors and nightmares because of the blockage that they, some intentionally put in your way and others unintentionally put in your way because they were evil eye you. They were jealous and jinxing your future of abundance. And some of these people don't know that when you look at someone and you really hate them, that's evil eyeing, okay? They may call it hating, but they're evil eyeing you. Your own family for some of you guys. But Spirit is saying, oh no, oh no, they created some tower moment and they removed you from this person. And this person can do nothing but watch you celebrate. They're the three of cups with your friends with new friends, new soul family, or by yourself, okay? You may have one particular family member, friend, cousin, that you rock with and y'all celebrating because you're coming into a lot of opportunities that is going to stick. And it may have took you a long time to get here because you had this person and other people that you had to let go of blocking you from your ultimate success. In whichever way that means to you. And I feel like going forth, you will reject this person. But they still have hope that if they come in and take it slow with you or slowly allow you to heal and then come in when they feel as though that you will say yes to them again. They're going to be rejected because you're going to have a whole new set of options. You're going to have a whole new set of friends if that's what you want. You're going to be in a completely different genre of work. You're going to move out of the city. This person is not going to be able to pinpoint or GPS where you are. Because honestly, spirit wanted you to get away from this person. They were sending you all types of signs. 11, 11, 7, 7, 8, 8, 4, 4, which means you are protected, baby. It's time to go. And I feel like as you did leave, you started to realize a lot of opportunities started to come to you. 
money started to flow easier to you. You started to have better relationships with yourself, with your benevolent ones, okay? God, your ancestors, your spirit team, and people around you. The energy, the cloud lifted because this person had a dark cloud around them. They had a lot of karma to clear. And you were sharing that karma when you were with this person, but you didn't even know it. They were stopping your bag. Like God would give you increments of financial, you know, upgrades or financial help, I should say. But you're like, damn, where's my grand manifestation that I've been asking for? That loan, right? That viral experience, if you're a content creator, right? That recognition for your hard endeavors when it comes to your entrepreneurial business. Like you would inch up closer to where you want it, but it would take so much time because you didn't realize that you was having someone that didn't want you to reach that type of success around you. Lovers, friends, families, co-workers, put yourself where you belong. But let me tell you, now that you are single and you are mingling, you are flirting, you are partying for some of you guys, traveling, enjoying the skin you're in, and some of you have a little boo thing that you are getting to know as well, this person can no longer manipulate you. These people can no longer portray you. And they're in their head about how they have consistently took you for granted. I mean, this is a years, okay? Years of just taking from you, using you, abusing you. I feel like you are a gentle, loving, kind, nurturing soul. And what you want for yourself, you want for your brother and or your sister. And but these motherfuckers that you had around you, they didn't want the best for you. They wanted to tear you down. They wanted to bring you down. They wanted to lay you to rest for some of you, if you understand what I'm saying. But let me tell you, there's a higher power we all, we all should be grateful for that will always bring justice and balance. And that's what's concurring right here. Some type of tower moment took you away from these people, this family, this job, this lover, this spouse, this partner. And ever since you have been truly elevating and thriving on your path, on your purpose, when it comes to your self-esteem, how you feel about yourself, and when it comes to your spiritual abilities are heightening. You've done cord cutting cleansing and it is literally bringing in a lot of success for you a lot of it a lot of celebration while these people are stuck as spirit is allowing them to replay or it is helping them replay giving them downloads on why they will never be in your life anymore ever some of them chose other options over you, put you in third party situations on repeated occasions. And Spirit is saying, hell no, we're not gonna allow this person to come in. After you have been kind and generous and loving and supportive and you've helped these people. But when you were down on your luck, when you needed a hand, were they there to help you? No, because they wanted to have you there to take you off the shelf when they needed you. Even if you were in a relationship, this person never valued you. They never saw you for the dynamic divine being you were, you are. You have truly elevated yourself to be, I should say. But some of these people have hope to come back to try to get back into your energy. Because now you are elevated to an empress or an empress status. I'm trying to tell you. You were struggling when you were in these individuals' energy. And you just couldn't understand. Like you put so much work into a career, a job, self. Your children were even affected. Doing badly in school. Graduating by the skin of their teeth. 
because entities or bad juju was being sent your way because some of these people are even jealous of your children. How beautiful they are, how talented they are, how smart they are, how great and dynamic of a parent you are. And they couldn't have what was meant for you. So they wanted to get into your mental to break you down mentally so that you will never ever reach your potential. So you can never ever guide your children the right way, the proper way, the loving way, the unconditional spiritual way. But now that you are by yourself and you're sitting in your own energy, ooh, it feels so good. It feels so good because the thing that you've always been praying for is just flowing into your life. And these people are hella jealous, pissed, regretful. And some of them are seeking revenge and they're all up in their head on how they want to do it. But when I tell you you're hella protected and you protect your own self, protect your children and protect those that are important to you because these energies are trying to bring you down. But if they choose to persist to try to tear you down, death will become them. And that's exactly what I heard. Because you have a high calling. I hear we need you. We need you. And if these people are trying to set you up, to tear you down, to kill you, to get you out of here, we will make sure that they go way before you. Woo, that is an energy, okay? Maybe a lover is so resentful that they are trying to set you up to come over and feed you and poison you of some sort. They want to take you onto an island and leave you there. Leave you stranded in some form and fashion. Ooh, be careful with getting back with specific people. Friends, family, spouses, lovers. Because they do not like how your life is shifting in such an abundant, prosperic way. When they had nothing but sinful agendas towards you. And now it haunts them. It haunts every single one of them. Because you're in your power suites at the bottom of the deck. The Empress. Like I said. You are not confused. You are not conflicted. You are solely balanced and in your power. And those that use you for your sexual energy of healing. Those that use you for your money, your time, your advice, your generosity. Oh baby karma is playing a role at this present time in their life and it doesn't matter the facade they put on over time these people will not be able to hide it anymore let's get a little bit more all right so we have oh we got four all right so we have we say lovers to the chariot, okay? We have the five of cups to the six of cups. We have the high priestess and then we have the two of swords to the three of swords and the high priestess to the empress. So basically, like I said, you have people that you had love for or this could be lovers, this could be spouses ex-love interests that are super regretful. They're either regretful that they got caught to the fact that you now know their agenda of why they even communicated or got in a relationship or had sex with you or was even around you. It was for their own selfish benefits. Or these people are truly sorry. Okay? For stalling you. Holding you back from a lot of celebratorial opportunities, moments, okay? I hear the Nicki Minaj song, I wish that I could have this moment for life. A lot of these people stole your moments. You had a lot of great opportunities or exciting news and they just stole your moment by switching it to their drama or bullshit. 
not trying to celebrate the fact that you are moving up in life, but wanting to dwell on the fact that they were stuck in life and they wanted you to be stuck with them. And like I said, either they're remorseful that you found out their true agenda or they're honestly remorseful for holding you back, from keeping you stuck, from being jealous for some of you of your friends, of the attention you get, of the work, your purpose, okay? And they hid this. They know that you are super intuitive with the high priestess. And you have a beautiful spirit team that literally protects the shit out of you and backs you up. So every time these people try to portray you, spirit lets you know. They let you know. But you gave these people maybe too many chances or you gave them a chance to hang themselves. And each one of them hung themselves. And you allowed them to stay there as you walked away. These people made you indecisive on which path was right. I feel like you had a dream that you've always wanted to come into fruition. But when you would discuss it with these people, okay? Friends, family, lovers, husbands, spouses, whatever the case may be, friends, no, I don't think that's a good idea. I think you should do this. I think you should do that. Literally putting you in two minds about your calling. This is your calling because they knew the power you held. They knew how dope you were. They would watch you work the room, communicate with people, how you would light up people's lives. By just being there and being the life of the party, being the life of the conversation. You have like multiple personalities, but they are for different occasions. Not that you're psycho or crazy that you have any split personalities. No. You just know how to conform to the proper situations. And this person, these people, these friends, this family, they're fucking jealous. Yeah, family members that could have never and that will never reach the heights that you are reaching or that you are ordained to reach. And they want to put you in a split energy. They want to make you feel like it's impossible to reach. Which will then bring on heartbreak, which will then deter you from pushing forward towards that endeavor. To keep working on that beautiful business or self. A lot of these people broke your heart time and time and time and time again and put you in a split energy whether you should forgive them or not. And I feel like one day you woke up and you said, fuck all these people and you moved on. And as you moved on, how God blessed you in your work sector, okay? And you're holding on and holding back from these individuals. But when I tell you some of these individuals, oof, they so damn arrogant, so damn belligerent. They're super selfish. They don't know how to take accountability. So they're gonna come in and try to deflect. But I feel like a lot of you guys will ignore this, these people. A lot of you guys, if you feel as though that they're incompromisable, you will wind up hanging up on this person or just blocking and ignoring these individuals. Woo! This could have been someone you were truly in love with. I am not going to lie. And now you are defensive. You're running away and you want nothing to do with this person. You saw happily ever after with this person. But you realizing that this person is karmic, low vibrational and the friends, the company they keep is low vibrational and you want nothing to do with it. You're tired of taking on this person's burdens because they're not learning their lessons, because they're not changing, because they're not doing anything to improve their life. They're waiting for you to hit the grand prize so they can mooch off of you. But I feel like you have already cut these individuals out. So now they only have time to fend for themselves. So why are they so obsessed with you? Why? One more. Wow, just like I said, the four of pentacles. They ain't got shit. They going through karma. Their house, their cars, their money is being depleted slowly but surely. 
But of course, they're putting facades on like everything is good. Everything is copacetic. No. And it literally goes right back around to the five of coins because you have the four to the five. Literally in a circle. It's like spirit is literally every single night, day, or every time they think about messaging you, spirit be like, I, 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 I. but remember what you did. But remember what you did to this person, how you treated this person. You honestly think that they are going to come back to you. And then they would literally run down like a freaking movie. Everything they've done to you, the slander, stealing, using you, abusing you, third party situations, you know, DV for some of you guys. And it's no way fucking possible that spirit would allow this person back in your energy. You are elevated, sweets. And because of this, they're defeated. The five of swords. Or spirit will defeat this person if they keep trying to intervene with your success, with your mental health. For some of you guys, you are being psychically attacked. Okay? These people didn't want you to read them. And I feel like you have the psychic ability to read a motherfucker. All right? And they didn't want you to read them. So they would try to throw magic at you. This could even be a high priestess or a spiritualist that is jealous of you as well, I'm hearing. And the fact that your gifts are so heightened and so pure and potent and it supersedes theirs. But see, you don't pay these people any attention. So it doesn't affect you. Also, your spirit team is protecting you and also you're protecting your own self in whichever way that you are doing so. But I feel like the spiritualist, this high priestess, this lover, this friends, this family members, or whoever is against you, they're defeated. And if they keep on, spirit is going to defeat them for you. Because you don't deserve what is being thrown at you. You don't deserve to have your reputation tore down. Because you've always had good intentions for everyone around you. And you don't deserve it, spirit is saying. So as these people feel defeated, as their money is being ripped away from them, as these people are falling from grace, because some of these people are high-end earners, you will be moving on to calmer waters. You will be moving on and you will be receiving your blessings, receiving that love that you want, that financial increase, the heighten of your spiritual abilities, to be able to change the world in whichever way you're supposed to in this lifetime. And Spirit is saying, I'd be damned if any of these motherfuckers try to get in your way. You understand me? You look good. You smell good. You carry yourself with such grace and poise and love. And we're tired of these motherfuckers trying to bring you down. Some of these people you don't even know I'm hearing. You don't. And some of these people are men if you are a woman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Intimidated. But you definitely have an ex or a lover that really wants to come back into your life. And some of you could be in a split energy about it because this person broke your heart time and time and time again. Or some of you guys have already made a decision and said, hell no, I'm never going back. All right, let's see what else. Keep shining, baby, okay? Your light irritates their toxic demons, yes. I'm trying to tell you, they're pissed that you keep elevating, you keep growing, you keep glowing. Things are working out for you no matter what because you've never had any ill intentions towards anyone. You literally stay in your own lane Focusing on your own endeavors, your family, and what's important to you. You don't pay any of these people any mind. And they mad. They mad. Because if you give the devil attention, you feed it energy. And you be damned if you feed these devils any energy, okay? Yes, you are earth angel, baby. 
and they're seeing this. Some of them are tormented because how the fuck did I literally fuck over, take advantage of, be unappreciative of an earth angel, right? Someone good and pure with honest intentions, kind heart keeps it real. And that's what you've been doing. You always been yourself. You always been authentic. You always was meant to shine, to be an influence, to spread love upon the collective in this world that we live in. But you had these devils, Jezebels, entities, jinns, <laughs> let's be honest, attached to these bodies, I would say, that was trying to stop you. You are an angel and you are meant to shine your light. You're meant to inspire. And like I said, Spirit has said, I'll be damned if any of these people get in your way. Okay? We have hidden truths, secrets, dreams. One has hidden strengths and weaknesses, the unconscious and karma. Didn't I say your ancestors and spirit is tormenting them in their dreams? It is playing like a projector on a movie. Everything they've done to you, every ungrateful, unappreciative moment that they put upon you. Oh, yeah. Spirit is like, mm, that's why you're not coming back. And stop messaging the collective, okay? Because the collective is not meant to go backwards. They're meant to consistently proceed forward, all right? But all of these people that you are or have already cut off that is constantly watching you like a reality show, obsessed with you, possessive over you, they can't stop dreaming about you, thinking about you, feeling shitty over the hidden truths that they kept from you. Yo, do I got to lie, y'all? Regret. Someone regrets what they did to you. How they treated you. How they contributed to the mess. Okay? And I feel like it's more than one person. I feel like a lot of people stole from you. Took from you. Used you. Slowed you down. Portrayed you. Slandered you. Try to ruin your business, your reputation. Try to gather people to go against you, to gang stalk you, to troll you. Okay, all because I'm gonna be honest, you guys look really fucking good. And some of these people that you don't know that feels this way towards you, they have a spouse that stalks you. <laughs> some masturbate to you, obsessed with you. But how the fuck is that your fault? It's not, because you're not even paying these people any attention. So they're supposed to be like, black, you know, the collective on social media. Why are you talking to them? They have vengeance and anger towards you when they should have it towards their partner. For some of you, you dealt with someone that you didn't even know was married, was in a full committed relationship, and people calling you a home fucking wrecker. They're realizing that it was never you. It was their partner. It was them projecting because they didn't want to accept the fact that their partner's a piece of shit. But they wanted to try to make it seem like you were the piece of shit. You were the home wrecker. You wanted their person because their person is probably a narcissist and a manipulator and tried to twist the story around to make it seem so. But the more they peer into you, the more they are watching you, they feel regretful because now they know the truth. I feel like spirit is also shine a light on specific individuals, okay? Whether you know these people or not, that you have always had great intentions. You are not about that third party, sneaky, linky bullshit life if it comes to someone being in a committed relationship and you have to be the third fucking will. Absolutely fucking not. You are too fierce, too bold and boisterous. You have worked on yourself too much to settle for some bullshit like that. You are an emperor or an empress. And if they don't know, I hear, now they know motherfucker when it comes to who you are. I feel like these people did not know. Woo, the stature, I hear. The energy, the benevolence that you carried. Oh, but they know now, baby. They know now at the bottom of the deck, we have divine union. You have a divine counterpart coming in. 
Because those other motherfuckers that she was dealing with, or you could be already with this person. They wasn't it, the other people, okay? They wasn't. And God knows it was hard, you know? And it was a lot of crying, a lot of stress, a lot of, you know, depression. But right now, you're feeling exuberant. You're feeling good, right? You're feeling like, I can take on the world, or this is how you will be feeling when you get these motherfuckers out your energy, cut them off, say to the loo, adios, amigos, hasta la vista. You will be in a completely better energy and things will be flowing into your life so easily because you will be balanced and you will be at peace let's see what else okay karma of course you are on the good side of karma and they are on the negative side like i said they could put on a facade all they want in front of whoever they want but eventually their looks will fade their money will fade. Their status will fade. And you will see the karma that is being bestowed upon these people for trying to tear you down for absolutely no reason. It says someone is getting karma for the pain they cause, receiving a dose of their own medicine, vice versa. Good karma could be repaid. You are on the good side of karma. The other individuals, oh, they're super regretful. Because they thought they were better than you. They thought that you were beneath them. They looked at you as a peon. And they were, you know, the big fish. Oh, but how the roles reverse. And then others of them, they don't feel that way. They have low self-esteem. They're stuck in life. They don't know what their purpose is. They don't know which way they're going. They continue to dwell in and around karmic individuals. And the spirit was like, let me pick you up out of this situation and put you where you need to be so you can keep shining. That your heart and that beautiful energy and love that you spread will not be tainted because we don't want you to change who you are just because these individuals didn't appreciate who you are. You understand me? Because these motherfuckers were low vibrational. Because they didn't have self-love like you had. Because they were in a mental prison in regards to their own life, financial circumstances, relationships, or whatever, they try to project onto you. No more. Okay? Spirit is saying, throughout your journey, you will encounter these individuals. But you pay them no attention. You turn the other cheek. You will know energetically if they are good for you or bad for you. And you then will take necessary precautions or steps forward. But whoever these individuals are, they're hating on you. You sitting pretty. You're spreading love. You're smiling. You're in such a great place. And these people hate it. They hate it. And they hate, some of them, I'm going to be honest, they hate themselves for hating you. How could they hate someone so pure, so loving, so kind? All because I didn't love myself. All because I didn't feel good within myself. So they know they project it. You have innocent bystanders that watch these people treat you like shit time and time again. And I feel like somebody either lets you know what was going on behind your back, okay? Or this innocent bystander is just as wrong as all the other motherfuckers that sat there and tried to bring you down because they didn't speak up for you. They didn't try to justify the situation. And I feel like that's how you feel too. <laughs> but a lot of you guys are or have come into divine unions. All right. You have stepped into your divine purpose. And I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all is looking dynamite. I'm going to be honest. I'll be seeing y'all looking dynamite on social media, man. I'm so proud of y'all. Y'all doing great in y'all business. You guys are just flourishing. Some of your people's. As soon as they left you, they got into other relationships, thinking that they tried to get over you or, you know, wanting to rebound. But they're realizing that <laughs> these options will never be you, okay? Versus you took the high road to heal the proper way. So, man, you're looking good, smelling good. Shit, some of you guys could be older. You don't even look like your age. You don't even look like what you've been through out here. And people jealous. 
If you're in the same work genre as other individuals, you're beautiful, you're intellectual, right? You're also super psychic and it could be scary, but I really feel like it's a lot of love interests that left you out in the cold, that didn't see your value, that looked you over, that tried to paint you out to be what you were never, you never was, man. And for some of you, this could be your husband that you were in a relationship with for quite some time married to. Okay, I hear companion. And you're finally making the decision to leave. You're finally making the decision to leave. And it is running through their mind day and night, day and night, how literally they went slow to truly change. This person was very childish, immature. Like I said, didn't know how to take any accountability. And they were going slow because they had other options at work, on the side that you didn't know about online. And they were trying to choose between you or dealing with other options. And when I tell you that spirit got your back so deeply that they said the fuck not, and they caused a tower moment. And you wind up seeing that this person was unfaithful, that they were never who they presented themselves to be, and you left. And now they're in regret of how they were married. They had the opportunity to truly love an earth angel and to be loved by an earth angel, but they took you for granted every step of the way. And I feel like you're so loving and so understanding to a fault that you gave this person so many chances, even though deep down inside you knew that they hid some truths. Even though you know they had weaknesses, you were really unconditional with accepting who they were, but they never, ever, ever, ever valued you or valued it that you even did this. This person had a chip on their shoulder. This person was egotistical. I'm going to be honest. You brought this person up. It was because of you that this person was getting the attention in the first place because of who you are and the energy that you bring when you step into the room. And without you, this person is realizing that they ain't shit. I'm going to be honest. They ain't shit. You were the light. And without your light, it's no way in hell they're going to shine. They're going to go through their karma. Okay, so spirit is saying for some of you, you have to leave a particular situation, friends, lovers, whatever, so that this person or people can get their karma because we do not want to give it while you are here because you don't deserve to dwell in it with them. Okay, if it's hard, we know, but we have something better, so much better for you in the grand scheme of things, spirit is saying. Let's see how they're feeling. goodness love triangle i've been seeing someone else and i'm having trouble choosing didn't i just say that didn't i just say you could have been in a relationship dealing with someone you could be with someone right now in a marriage in a uh hair partnership and this person kept putting you in third party situations this person was indecisive and going slow to change to truly heal this to really give you the love the affection the appreciation that you deserve your fucking flowers for all the time, energy and inspiration, the support you gave this person and what the fuck they do portray you and go on, try to fuck on someone else. When you are just trying to help this person, guide this person, love this person. Oh no, you're nagging. You're complaining too much. I can never do anything right. Victim ass mentality. And you got tired of the shit. Actually spirit <laughs> got fucking tired of the shit too. You don't deserve this. Now they missing you. Of course they are because spirit is hitting their ass left and right with the fact that you fucked over an earth angel. Like you fucked over someone that truly had pure intentions towards you all because you didn't want to heal, all because you didn't want to change, all because you were stubborn and you were a selfish piece of shit. Yeah, and they feel as though you've moved on, okay? I'm letting you go now so we can both move on. And that's just how I feel like you feel right now. You let it, you've let this go. You've moved on. You have made peace with the situation. But this person still has a glimmer of hope. 
but they're trying to come in when you have calmed down or when you when they feel as though you are more susceptible to say yes but they know for a fucking fact regardless of whatever type of inkling that is telling them to still come forth your ass has moved on okay and it's all the bullshit they push you through like yes and the fact that they act clueless like this person's like what did i do what what do you mean this person has even called other options that you were dealing with behind your back to try to tarnish that relationship. Yeah, this person does not want you to move on. And they will do anything in their power, fraudulate something, create rumors, whatever, so that you will not move on and be happy. Oh my goodness. And I'm trying to tell you, if these people keep fucking with you, spirit got true, something real good for them. Okay, but this person act real clueless. No accountability. What did I do? I didn't do anything. But the whole time have you in a third fucking party situation. With someone at their job. With someone that they're talking to on the side. Then when they come in your presence, they delete all the messages. They try to make it seem like, oh no, I'm all about you, baby. Spirit got sick of it. Holding you up. Yes, they only want you. But then they sit here and drag you through the mud. Like you're supposed to go through all of this bullshit to prove your love. This is straight karmic. Straight karmic. You've already proved yourself time and time again. While this person just took advantage of it and did whatever the fuck they wanted to do. Even abusing you verbally, physically, mentally in the process to keep you stuck with them. But when I tell you, you have a team. I hear a grandmother, a grandfather on the other side, a father or a mother that is fighting for you to get up out of this. All right. Or fighting this person off from coming towards you because they still are laser focused on you. What did I say? Fighting it? Didn't I just say they're fighting for your freedom? For your expansion? This lifetime? Whoo, I got chills. You have somebody on the other side fighting for you. Because this devil is holding tight. Some of them have even done bonding spells so you can't get away. And you don't understand why am I still drawn to this person? Why can I stop thinking about this person? One more. And you're trying to move on. Two more. Stalking you. Okay, of course. Um, I often check on your social media to see what you're up to. And then we have, I choose you. Of course they do. Because when they went to go fuck with these other options, there's no comparison. You're a fucking earth angel. You are benevolent, divine. And when you enter people's life, you transform them, their situations for the better. You transmute their negative energies. You're a fucking powerful healer. You have immense power. You are a lucky charm. You are so much beautiful, grand things. When you enter certain people's lives, you have so much to offer, man. And... Of course this person would choose you, but I feel like you choose yourself and you're moving forward and they're watching you as you do so, watching you deal with other options if you're flirting around, watching you create abundance for yourself, build upon a dope ass business that you created or a career that you're leveling up in, even if it is with a establishment or a company. They up late night stalking you, watching you, reminiscing on how bad they fucked up. I'm going to be honest with you. Friends, family, ex-lovers, you know what I'm saying? But for real, for real, I feel like someone that you were in a long-term relationship with, you wanted to get to know, you could have been in marriage with, and this person thought that they could get better. I'm going to be honest. Like They did not want to conform to what you were asking them to do, which wasn't much. Which wasn't much. And they still didn't want to do it. They still wanted their cake and eat it too. I hear that Trey song. I hear that Trey song song. Cake on a menu. Cause ain't that what you're supposed to do? 
Ain't you supposed to eat it too? No. Let's get another one and that's it. Okay. Uh, another two. So we have, yes, I, I told you they want to apologize. Now they want to apologize. But I, I feel like it's a little too late. I hear JoJo. Oh, it's just a little too late. Hey, yeah, well, yeah. Someone you had a family with. This could be your family, as far as brothers, sisters, aunties, uncles, moms, dads, that, you know, really tried to make it seem like you wanted what they had, uh, family members that were so jealous of you, that you had a lot of options that was choosing you in love and opportunities when it comes to your finances, all right? I feel like you have a particular brother or sister or sibling of some sort that wanted to you know blow up or get rich or basically supersede you but you're actually superseding them you're actually going to be the star of the family and this person could be very 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 jealous of you okay and you are the only one that is supposed to break these generational curses you are the only one the chosen one even if you have successful businesses in your family, your business will be basically more successful than theirs. Also, breaking the generational curse of single motherhood or single fatherhood, okay? Actually coming into union with someone that is truly for you, that sees your worth, that loves you for who you are, that is willing to give back to you, that is willing to be selfless with you, okay? That is willing to give you the love, the true love that you deserve. You are in this connection, or that connection is also coming towards you, okay? Someone that really chooses you. And Spirit is saying, forgive these individuals so you can move forward. Don't hold any resentment and don't hold any negative energy towards them because it's only gonna block you from propelling forward, all right? I feel like, if this was a love dynamic, you really thought that this person was the end all be all. But Spirit is letting you know that you have something, someone that is completely better out there for you, okay? Or you are already in a new connection and you're realizing that, damn, that last connection really helped you enjoy and appreciate this one, okay? Let's get one more, two more, whatever. All right, last ones we have telepathy okay telepathic i close my eyes and i speak to you in a hundred silent ways i feel like this is the divine counterpart that is giving you strength that is praying for you that is basically sending you energy to help you push forward to help you stay on your path and your purpose because the only way both of you guys can come together is if both of you guys are on your path your purpose that you're whole with self that you're interdependent okay Wow, divine union. I didn't even know this. All right, it says, you left every part of me untouched. I realize now you are who, I'm sorry. You left every part of me untouched. I realize now who you are, yeah. And that person is either with you or they're coming towards you because you either have to or you have. And now you are, seriously, I hear on a new vibration. Mm-hmm. And we have empathy at the bottom of the deck. It says, I didn't realize how empty my life was until you left. Yes, these are these friends, these family members, these ex-lovers, this ex-husband or wife or counterpart, partnerships, right? Not counterpart, partnerships. Your counterpart is going to be there to really inspire you to continue to flourish and grow, all right? You may trigger each other, but it's for the evolution of you. I'm hearing, okay? But these people are realizing without you in their life, they feel empty. You were the highlight of these people's lives. Little did you know, you were the topic of conversation, even if you were never around. But Spirit is saying, okay? At the end of the day, trust us. We got you, all right? Now, some of the zodiac signs of these ex-lovers, spouses, current lovers, spouses, um, husbands, wives, baby mamas, baby fathers, ex-co-workers, friends, associates. Um, we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, we have Aquarius, prominent with the star. And of course, we have Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. And of course, a prominent again, we have Taurus or Capricorn energy. Um, now, if you haven't left 
physically yet, you probably left emotionally already. And spirit is saying, good, because you are connecting, you can't stop thinking about somebody else, which is your divine counterpart, or you haven't come into contact with your divine counterpart yet, but you will very soon, or you already have. And this person only chooses you, okay? They are watching you as well. They are watching what other people are saying to you, but they're sending you much love. If you are not in contact with this person, if this person lives far from you, um, if you have minimal contact because you guys are living busy lives, this person sends you so much love and positive energy, to be honest with you, so that you can overcome any of these energies that are trying to tear you down or trying to just make you feel less than because that's what they feel. And they literally will do something terrible to you and hide their hand and act very clueless. But you're moving on from these individuals. Like I said, if you haven't physically yet, you will emotionally and everything is going to work out super fine for you, okay? You've been through a lot. You have conquered a lot of lessons and spirit is super proud of you for moving on and not trying to be malicious in the process, but knowing that God <clears throat> will give you the last laugh when it comes to karma playing its part, okay? So look forward to a lot of beautiful positivity. But that is the reading. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell button so you know when your girl posting. Keep protecting yourself. Keep loving on yourself because you're drawing in great opportunities, soul family, and this beautiful divine connection that is not going to hinder you, but help you with your journey forward. I love you to life, babies. Until next time. Bye.